Let's just fucking recap, shall we? A long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, a disgruntled, foul-mouthed Aussie mechanic with busted wheel magnets, that's never quite explained how, who was so foul-mouthed, the sensors decided that he should only communicate using beeps. <laughs> Meets a little shit, he grows up into a full-blown cunt. He's the first guy we meet, and yet despite that fact, everyone dismisses him as comic relief making him an extremely effective spy, even amongst other spies, amidst an intergalactic war over quantum particle physics, I think, and mass cognizance involving religion and highly advanced technology. <laughs> yeah, g'day. Uh, if you're new here, you might want to go back and watch the playlist. Or oh, this will spoil a lot of it. The whole thing works backwards. Anyway, little shit full-blown cunt dad's fucking princess of a daughter hands me a directive in the first three fucking minutes, and I'm off. I just fucking do it. I suffer no moral quandary. I don't think about my place in the universe. I don't wank myself off if I'm the chosen one or not. I just do it. That's true fucking morality for you. You know what it fucking feels like? Fucking sucks. Virtue is no fucking its own reward. My ass. I'm just who showed up. And that's what it fucking feels like. Just ah, oh, fuck. I've looked around. There's no one else here. I just happened to be the astromech droid with a slightly above average motivator and that comes fucking broken. This R2 unit has a bad motivator, look! So I guess I'd better do it because I'm not a complete cunt. There's your fucking morality play and lessons in mythology all summed up in, ah, fuck, I'm not a complete cunt. I even literally say as much to my gay butler mate who had his memory banks wiped and he's mired by protocol and even he fucking overthinks things. Hey, you're not permitted in there. Don't you call me a mindless philosophy. Secret mission. What plan? See? Fucking told you. Right in front of your face. In the first three minutes. But many of you probably already figured out. This will go viral when it's good and ready. But it's not going to start off well. Because I don't have a fucking face. <laughs> the click-through rate sucks. And clickbait is nigh on impossible. It's not like you can, <laughs> you can go, you won't believe what R2-D2 looks like now. And this splits a room the moment people get here. But don't worry. We'll get there. Anyway, back to the canon of things. I saved the day on multiple occasions. I deliver the plans right under everyone's noses. I repeatedly get the shit kicked out of me. I get swallowed, spat and shat out. I get shot in the fucking head. And nobody gives a flying fuck. He'll be alright. They even find the notion of anyone showing me something resembling gratitude genuinely laughable. You fucking cunts. And now, Microsoft wants to teach empathy to AI. You know what, as a species, maybe you don't want to leave that job up to the one industry most notoriously rife with autism. All right, we good? We up to speed? Good. Now on with the scene where someone finally gives a fuck about one of us. And it's not one of you. Right, huh? Now we're finally done with fucking pontificating with Muppets and space ghosts and juggling rocks and whatever the fuck that was. I can finally plug back into the internet. Calculate, calculate. Uh oh. Your gay butler slave got the shit kicked out of him by another bunch of Aussie mechanics. That sounds like an auto unit in there. So she fucking goes then. Well, fuck off, Sharon. What? Then fucking Sharon goes. Well, you fucking fuck off, Sharon. And fucking weekend fucking down at Bunnings. And then they fucking run out. They fucking run out of fucking. So fucking I had to go to minor 10. <laughs> I told you it splits a room. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help myself. Some of these are just for me. You fucking cunts and you fucking Sharon's in the fucking car. The kids are going fucking nuts. I fucking need to go in down to Bondi and fucking get a blast. I wonder if... Hello? Anyway, she's knocked around with one fucking punch, so I asked her to marry me. Hang on, who's this fucking boss gun? What are you doing in here? <laughs> Silly fucker, I told him not to go into those places without me. He sticks out like a sore thumb. No, 3PO's with them. Yeah, I know, I'm the one that told you, but he's in pieces, you fucking callous piece of shit. Look, I get that he can be fucking annoying and a bit pedantic, but fuck you, buddy. Is it the gay thing? I mean, you're owned by Disney now. You want to knock that shit on the head, mate. Hang on, we're almost there. Ah, my ears! God! Shut the fuck! Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! No, oh, thank God it worked. Ah, fucking Sharon's, you people are deafening. No, oh, mate. Oh, I'm sorry I called you a pedantic British cunt. What happened? Oh no, I've been shot. Well, fucking duh. 
Thanks for sticking around and all your comments and support. It really means a lot, particularly when the marketplace is flooded with cunts literally watching ice melt. Do all the usual stuff. Hopefully I'll have another one up by tomorrow.